welcome back to the second video of Motoganda. After the first one I'm going to stick to more recent news. So what's recent at the moment? Well in November there are the general elections in the US. So let's have a look at the candidates who we have there. On the one hand you have Donald Trump. What is he claiming? Come on. Should have a look. Hmm. Anyway, just to mention up front, I don't really believe that politicians will really do then after they get elected what they said they're gonna do up front. But still, have a, let's have a look. So, on the one hand, we have Donald Trump. And, yeah, basically he has a pretty simple message. He is going to make America great again. That sounds legit so far, but how he's going to do that? Well, one thing he said, he's going to bring back the jobs to the United States. Okay sounds good as well but again how he's going to force companies to yeah, thank you how he's going to force companies to move their production lines from Taiwan or China or wherever they produce at the moment back to America well the only thing I can think about would be telling the companies like either produce again here or else we won't import your products or sell your products anymore over here or putting an excessive duty on it like to double or triple the product price I doubt that would work out plus I, I don't hope he does that whereas that would make it pretty hard for any US citizen to continue watching YouTube. For the simple reason, I'm not aware of any company which still produces in the US mobile phones or computers or televisions or anything like that. I might be wrong there. So if you can name me any company who does that still, just put it up in the comments. So, what else he is going to do or he says he does? Well, he wants to fight the establishment, like, uh, seriously? So you want to fight yourself, of course. I mean, he's a multi-billionaire having I don't know how many companies and he is basically the establishment. So. Him claiming he wants to find the establishment is like me claiming I want to fight bikers. Whatever I should do that, but I could claim it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna fight all the bikers now, including myself. So, is he going to do anything else? I mean, I have to be honest, I didn't follow too much what all they claim they're gonna do. But what I noticed, he is going to build a wall to Mexico. Like, I was wondering why he didn't say, like, I'm gonna dig just a river deeper or something. But well, building a wall, okay, turned out pretty well for the former GDR. Building a wall actually kind of did work for a while. So all in all, I don't think he claims like too many good things, uh, or let's say too many reasonable things. So not not the best choice. So let's have a look on the other side. We have there Hillary Clinton, and I have to be honest there as well. I don't even know what all she is going to do once she's president because 
for me one, no, two statements were basically enough to read. And those two statements were when she claimed once she becomes president, she wants to attack Iran. Like, yeah, really smart idea, starting just another war with Iran, because did she actually say why, or just like, well, we're the US, we can do it, why not? And the second statement, which I find even more dangerous, was her claiming she would like to shoot Putin in the head. Yeah, Vladimir Putin, the Russian president. And how do you think you will be able to shoot the president of another country in the head? Well, the only way I can think about is again war. And war with Russia to me sounds even worse than the idea of war with Iran. I mean, the only thing I got out from her basically is let's start more wars, which worked out pretty well for Americans so far. I don't think so. I don't even know exactly the body count so far, but I'm pretty sure it's more than one, so it's basically too much. How about ending wars rather than starting new ones? That would be something I would like to hear from a politician. So basically for me both candidates are like not good ones. But in case I would need to vote, which fortunately I don't have to, or I cannot even since I'm not a US citizen, I think I would vote for Trump, of course, a possible disaster with Trump is for me still the better option, or not the better, let's say the less bad option than a for sure disaster with more wars, especially with Russia. But well, we will see how it works out in November then. Unfortunately, I think it will be Clinton anyway. Closes without any problems. That's new. What happened to the microphone? That closes now. So, ready for the second take of the day. And someone walking over here. You shouldn't walk there, buddy. Mm. Hope he survives to down there. But well, at least he had a light t-shirt on. But why a second take? Because I forgot something quite important. How about Hillary's health? I know, recently it was still considered conspiracy theory if you question it. But I'm pretty sure things changed since she fainted in, at the 9-11 memorial in New York. So now it's the time to question it. I mean, even before there were already... Ooh, sounds pretty cool for a fiesta. Even before there were some incidents. Come on, let me go. Thank you. Even before there were some incidents where she had signs of seizures and weird behavior and always someone present to help her out. So I'm wondering is someone who needs permanent medication and permanently someone around to take care, is this person really fit to become the president of the, of the United States? And I personally don't think so. But well, that's just one more reason why I wouldn't vote for her. And fortunately I don't have to vote at all. But that's it so far for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. 
write me in the comments if you agree or disagree with my opinion on the vote. And if you didn't subscribe yet, now you have the chance to. See you in the next video.